often, in 99% of situations, leaving an injury, as in doing nothing and allowing your body to heal, won't actually improve it for the long run. Your body doesn't just say, oh, I'm going to fix and fixes, unless it's bone, bone is slightly different. But muscular, something that's a muscular injury, um, which often always happens with a bone injury anyway, um, means that not doing anything will not aid you. Uh, a good example is I fractured my sternoclavicular joint when I was 16 and playing rugby. I didn't do any rehabilitation really, I didn't really do anything because it just wasn't kind of, it wasn't known necessarily at that time. But I have problems with it today and I know that's because I have muscle imbalances that have carried on until it was a little bit too late when I realised and got educated that I could have fixed it. I mean, it's not the end of the world, however, I notice it today and that is, you know, so many, many years ago. But that's the same as well with your ankle that you damaged when you yeah. were 14. And this often happens, so twisted an ankle, um, really sprained yeah. it badly, and because it wasn't taken care of, it wasn't rehabilitated, so not that he just left it and then didn't do anything. You actually have to make sure that you're going back to fixing it fully, otherwise for 20 years you've been walking slightly different, which then causes issues in your back and things like that. So it's very important to tackle it head on, not just to leave it and wait for it to recover, to actually see the right person that can rehabilitate it and will actually see it all the way through. So not just thinking, oh, I'll, I'll go and get a physio appointment one time to fix it, actually seeing it all the way through.